Welcome to Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drada. Back in February 1981, I gave my life to Jesus in a Salvation Army Hall in D Street in East Belfast, just beside the Harland and Wolfe shipyards. And as a new Christian, I knew that I needed to get to know God. I knew I had to get to know his word. I knew I had to get to know the great beliefs of the Christian faith that would stand me in good stead as I struggled in my newfound faith and as I struggled to overcome addictions that were controlling my life up to that point. And I remember going into a Christian bookshop. It was called the Faith Mission Bookshop and in Belfast. And I went in and there was literally thousands of books and you know what? I didn't know what was good, what, what would help me, what wouldn't help me. I had no idea. And so I stood there in that bookshop and I closed my eyes and I prayed. And I said, Lord, would you lead me to the books that can help me get grounded in this new life I have in Jesus? Now, you've got to remember, there was no internet at that time. So the only way I could find stuff out was by buying books. And I was living in a hostel for the homeless. My income was £10 a week. And so I'm looking at books that cost half my week's income and say, I don't want to waste my money on something that's not going to really build me up. And probably the, the first Christian book that I bought was the Metropolitan Tabernacle Pulpit. It was sermons by the great preacher of the 19th century, uh, Charles Spurgeon. And I started off buying 35, number 35 in the series, and I bought 35, 36, 37, 38. One, one day I'll maybe get around to buying the first 34 uh, editions of, of these sermons. But I have to say, it built me up so powerfully. These were actually the sermons that uh, were printed that Charles Spurgeon had preached in his church in London in 1889. And it, the, as I read through those sermons that this man who, who had been uh, dead for so many years, as I read through them, God began to instruct me through the words of a man long dead and enable me to appreciate some of the great Christian truths. And just listen to some of the titles of the sermons. Our Great Shepherd, Finding the Sheep. Christ's Connection with Sinners, the Source of His Glory. Intimate Knowledge of the Holy Spirit. The Power of His resurrection. One lost sheep. The hunger and thirst which are blessed. Preparation for the coming of the Lord. Perseverance in holiness. The Lamb in glory. And uh, as I, the Father's love to his dying Son. And as I read these sermons, the Holy Spirit ministered truth into my life. Truth that still remains with me 41 years later. Now today, of course, there are many, many more Christian resources and books available, and many of them we can just get them instantly on the internet, and I think very few of us today will be paying 50% of our entire weekly income on one book. But I, but I would still say we need to pray. We need to be led by the Holy Spirit as to which books that we read and which books we obtain. And I believe that God is just as able to guide us in that way today as he did with me back in 1981. And I pray that the Lord will guide you, that you will, he will lead you to the right resources to build you up and enable you to be the person that the Lord wants you to be in Jesus' name. Thank you for joining us for this Take 5. Uh, join us again tomorrow. I'm going to share with me another way in which the Lord, back then at the beginning of my Christian walk, uh, guided me to be able to build into me the stuff that I needed to fulfill his purpose for my life in the years ahead. May God bless you in Jesus' name.